This video is about why I believe so many YouTubers will never be as good as their last viral video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just think about any one hit wonder. I believe like a few years ago, there's a song called Call Me Maybe, and ever since then, the artist Carly J. Repson hasn't really bounced back anything big. And it's probably one of the greatest fears to become relevant so fast and to become irrelevant in the next. And in this video, I really just want to dive in why I believe so many people fall for this trap of succeeding so fast, but also plummeting to the ends of the earth. I sound so dramatic, it's all that deep. So anyways, today we're gonna talk about why why one hit wonders happen and if you are a youtuber or a creator we're gonna talk about how you can prevent it to make sure you keep growing in your brand if you're new to my channel my name is Jade I combine psychology and marketing to give you guys the best tips and tricks for social media growth and this entire idea of you know not being as good as your last viral video is actually called the one hit wonder effect so if you guys want to know more about this magical little psychology effect keep on watching I'm getting Starbucks right now so let's go get that hi if you guys don't know, Starbucks apparently has brand new drinks and uh, I like just sipping tea with you guys. So make sure you grab a snack if you haven't already. Okay, I'm gonna try this golden ginger drink. Let's see if it's good. The reaction will be on TikTok. Oh, she's spicy. Okay, so now I'm gonna try this drink. It's pineapple matcha. If you guys don't know anything about me, I really love matcha and this is a different drink. Oh my god, this is like a 10 out of 10. I give this a 7 out of 10, but I recommend trying it. Super good. Okay, so now that I have my tea, I can finally talk a little bit more about what is the one hit wonder effect. I actually made this up. All my videos typically have extensive research and a little bit of like logical thought, but I actually made this entire theory up because I think it's something that no one really observes. So the one hit wonder effect is basically what happens when you hit a record and the ability to keep going scares you because you are afraid to go anywhere lower than that record. And this is so prevalent and especially YouTube creators. My first point on why I think the one hit wonder effect happens is because YouTube and creating videos is art. Okay, you're probably like, hey Jade, what the heck does that mean? So, <coughs> sorry, the ginger really kicked in. So basically, whenever you're like a kid and you're drawing for fun, you're able to express yourself on the piece of paper. Have you ever like had to write a free write at school, but you couldn't think of any stories or ideas because you feel like pressured to make it great? Like that's exactly what happens in YouTubers. When you're making creative concepts, you can't put pressure on them because creativity only happens when you take risks. And risks can't happen if you're so like risk adverse to take the risk in the first place, if that makes sense. No? Okay. I actually made a video with Brandon Walsh on my second channel called The Green Room. Brandon is a YouTuber with half a million subscribers and he says to make his more viral content, he has to not care about the views, but actually care about the concepts and art. And it's almost so hard because YouTube obviously makes money and you almost want to like keep growing your money, but like you can't tie monetization with art too closely because you're not going to actually be able to thrive and be creative. I'm gonna insert the clip right now. I think people when they start a YouTube channel, they need to decide whether they wanna do bingeable content Content. Like if they're in it for the long run and they really really care about YouTube and what they're creating Or if they just want to make like random viral videos that kind of pop off Which is still good like you can still make a lot of money and, and like it will still grow because of that But in my opinion you got to kind of like tailor your content for the long run Chasing viral content is the most dangerous thing for your mental health Honestly because what happens is you're gonna have a viral video You're gonna get you're gonna get super high on that viral video It's like a drug and then you're gonna crash and you're not gonna be able to get back to that point point and then you're not gonna wanna make content anymore. And I see it happen to like every content creator. I really like what Brandon said because whenever you get a video that hits maybe a million views or even a hundred views, right? You almost want to keep going and you want to like make it the same so you can keep hitting that view count. And if it goes anywhere less, then you feel like you're not worthy. And tying your self-worth to a number is the number one issue why I believe one hit wonders happen. Because if you start valuing your self-worth on a number, the minute it goes a little bit down, you give up. And that's why a lot of people quit. And it's actually not about techniques or the algorithm, but for a lot of creatives or YouTubers in this instance, the reason why one hit wonders happen so often is because really they give up and they are just mad at themselves and they really just self-sabotage them for creating more ideas and to keep going. YouTube is such a mental game and it's kind of crazy to me that everyone wants to know the secret sauce, but it's really just perseverance. And it sounds like less sexy when I say it, but that's the honest truth. I really do recommend watching the entire video with Brandon. He gives some really good tips about thumbnails and how to create good content. So I will link it below if you guys want to subscribe to The Green Room. All right, number two, why I believe believe the one hit wonder effect is so real is because of burnout. So typically what happens before that viral video takes a lot of perseverance and like I said, time. And sometimes if you don't pace yourself properly and say you're making videos every day or you're just working yourself to the brim, you're going to burn out. And burnout can look like a lot of things. It can look like creative block. You're not thinking of any ideas like I mentioned, or it could just be you can't wake up and actually go into stages of depression. I sound really dramatic, but like this is a 
real, real thing. And so many of my freighter friends do get affected by YouTube. And I know at this point, it's not a new thing that YouTube, you can make income from it and it's an actual prevalent career now. But because of that, I really do think there's less emphasis on the mental health of YouTubers. And I really believe that burnout for creatives, especially, can be super real. I actually have an example for you guys. My friend Ryan Trahan, he has like 2 million subscribers now. And at Playlist Live, it was super cool to see him speak because, I mean, me and Ryan go probably, we met like two years ago and Haley as well. And we had this one group chat where we talk about just how we're doing in life. And there was a point where Ryan said he was like really burnt out from making videos like every single day and creating concepts. And he couldn't work for like a month straight. I was making videos seven days a week, spending 10, 12 hours a day making videos. And I didn't give myself any time to recover. Over the course of a year, I'll actually get more done if I rest for two days of the week and just take a weekend for myself and you know, work for five days and try my best for those five days. So balance is something I had to learn the hard way. I burned out in like March of this year. Oh really? And it kind of spiraled me into this creative block for mm. a long period of time. So I learned a lesson though. That's what it's all about. And I really do believe that obviously he's doing great and he's like thriving, but it's okay to take breaks. The reason why you'll never be as good as your last video is because typically you want it fast and you want the next one to be as great and great things take time. The real cause of burnout is when you're pushing yourself to the brim and expecting things like a deadline when you can't fulfill that and it's just unrealistic. And I really believe that's where frustration happens and where a lot of YouTubers also, again, give up and get burnt out. All right, so the number three, before I go into it, I just quickly want to say, like, I am so passionate about this video, if you can't tell by like my jumpiness in this car. But this topic comes from a pain point of mine. I received tons of comments of people like in my channel saying like, oh, Jade, your videos are getting low views. Like, why are somebody's getting 100,000 views and another like 1,000 views? And especially when I do sponsorships or brand deals, like that's the only thing they ask. And you know what? Those are great questions. And those are things that also I wonder myself. And I believe that I did not create a YouTube channel to just out of pump out the same shit. I want to create things that I love. And sometimes it's not going to click with 100,000 people all the time. And I don't get frustrated at the comments, but I just hope people can see that there's more to life than a consistent view count. And there's more to life than ha hitting your best record. Like it's important to take risks and do things because you love it. And you can see it in my content or my channel if you do scroll back. Like I'm not going to have a 10 milli banger like, every single video. I've actually never had a 10 million view video. But like I had a few videos hit a million views and it really did mess up my mental health because I don't see anything else as successful if I don't get a million views. And that's just really fucked up because I created YouTube to create art and things that I love. And I just got stuck in this like never ending cycle of like how many views should I get? And as I came back again from Playlist Live and I was meeting all these creators, I realized like that I'm not the only one that suffers from this. And I am definitely just here to say that I think we're all in this together. And at the end of the day, that's why I actually started The Green Room, which is my second YouTube channel. You should definitely subscribe. I really believe the message I just hope you guys walk away with is if you feel like you're not good enough and you feel like you can't take risks, just remember that you're not alone and this is a completely normal feeling. The third thing I want you to know about the one hit wonder effect is even if you have a one hit wonder and you have a million views and then now it's hard to bounce back from that, just remember that adversity is a great thing. So like I mentioned, all my YouTuber friends, we have this like one group chat and we just like ask ourselves like, would you rather blow up out of nowhere really easily like Charlie D'Amelio or grow consistently but steadily over a few years? And personally, I prefer having the second option because think about it this way, Charlie D'Amelio who literally blew up because of great timing and honestly, if there's luck involved with it, the minute that the algorithm on TikTok maybe changes and Charlie doesn't get the same engagement anymore, she won't know how to handle it just because success happened through timing. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of things that Charlie did and I'm only giving her as an example. I really do believe it's an amazing thing to have it hard because you know that if everything shit hit the fan, you're able to start over and you can do it again. I, I really do believe like the worst thing possible is if you, you know, maybe got something, a success or whatever, but you're not sure how to keep going and replicate it. That's why I really do believe if you have YouTube videos that have like lower view count, it's okay. And like, don't be afraid of that because that's actually a great thing because the minute that, you know, the algorithm does change, you know how to change with it because you've been through adversity, you've been through this shit and you can handle it. And I think that makes you a really strong person. And hey, it might take a lot more time to, you know, blow up again, but at least if you are dealing with this lower view count or like you are in a dip, you can at least keep going and you know that you can handle it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe.
subscribe to the green room we are having an event and by the way if you are concerned about traveling to the event we do have online virtual tickets that you can buy it will be linked in the description box you can meet all these creators i mentioned and ask them questions that's exactly why i created the channel so we can just as a family answer our questions and grow together i love you guys Darma Nation, so much i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm gonna go to my next meeting sip some more of this tea shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you guys want to be the next comment winner comment below i'll see you guys in the next one peace